Hi folks, welcome once again to the show. Today we're heading for Austria's sunny Bergenland to try a blend of three classic red varieties. Coming right up. Hi guys, welcome once again to another edition of Big On Wine, the channel that brings you news, clues and reviews about, yes, everything in the world of wine. And my wine of the week for this week is indeed from Austria and from Austria's Burgenland and it's this one here. It goes by the name of Kracher Blend Dry and the vintage is 2014. And where I am, this wine comes in for a price of around 14 euro a bottle. Okay, Kracher Blend Dry. So this is a blend of three different varieties and they are the classic Austrian red varieties, Zweigelt, St. Laurent, and Blau Frankish. Now, the majority of this is Zweigelt, 50%. And Zweigelt is, in fact, a cross itself between the other two varieties in this wine, between the St. Laurent and the Blau Frankish. Okay, this is from Burgenland, Qualitätswein Burgenland has about 13.5% alcohol. Now this comes from a place called Ilmitz, which is on the east side of the uh, Neusiedlerse, Lake Neusiedl, um, also called the Zewinkel in Austria. Now Lake Neusiedl, of course, is famous for its um, sweet white wines and the noble rot that produces them, but the red wines are also extremely fine as well. Okay, this wine is made by Gerhard Kracher. Um, he has a vineyard of 25 hectares, makes about 120,000 bottles a year. Okay, let's have a look at this. Now, this is an interesting wine um, because it has a wonderful ruby red color. Uh, but it's not quite clear. Now, this wine is made using natural methods, um, natural yeasts, and no filtration when it's bottled. Okay, so this is rather unusual in that respect. Let's have a little sniff of this and see what we get. Now, this has got a very um, um, solid smell of berries, very berry heavy wine, mature berries I'm getting here. The first aroma is very cherry-like, um, sour cherry, maybe, maybe a little bit of red currant in there as well. It has a very nice perfume on the wine. So mature berries, largely cherry there. Quite interesting, there's almost like a little smoky dimension to the aroma as well. Okay, let's try this now in the mouth. Now I would classify this as medium bodied. Um, it has some very, very nice sour cherry notes to it, which kind of develop in the finish. They're quite strong, the cherry notes there. Um, a fresh wine, medium bodied, medium tannins, um, rather toasty. Reminds me almost of a Côte de Rhone or something like that. Uh, even a little bit of Pinot Noir type notes here. Um, so to toasty, medium bodied, uh, soft, softish, medium to soft tannins, and that wonderful sour cherry um, dried fruit kind of a finish to the wine. Now, that is excellent. That is a wine which appeals to me a great deal. Now, what are we going to be eating with this excellent Kracher Blend Dry? Well, this is a pretty good all-rounder, I would say. 
This would handle duck, very nice, a uh, breast of duck, for example. Uh, a pork stew, yeah, stewed pork would be very nice. But I think this would be also very good, uh, you know, with your larger uh, birds, so a turkey, and why not even with goose? So duck, turkey, goose, a pork stew, they would all go very nicely indeed. Now the serving temperature for this wine is going to be around the 18 degree mark. You could even just till it slightly more, 16, 17 degrees, I think would be perfectly okay. And this is a wine which I think, because it has a degree of sediment in it, um, because it's not filtered when bottled, is a good wine for decanting. So let's bring you the heads up on this. This is a wine to my liking coming in for around 14 euro a bottle. Kracher Blend Dry, vintage 2014 from the easternmost province of Austria, Burgenland. I'm going to give this wine, and it has a really good price I think, I'm going to give this wine four stars out of five. Okay guys, many, many thanks for watching today's video. Hope you've enjoyed what you've uh, seen and heard. Please feel free to share the video around, drop a comment down below if you feel like it, hit that big red button in order to subscribe and naturally follow me on all my other social media platforms. I'll be back again next week with another great Wine of the Week, but until we meet again, this is Tony Melville signing off and saying, hey, be good to each other, take care out there, enjoy your wines. And cheers.